hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Ah, oh, do I do that? I don't know. Anyway, so it's time to bring out the stats, the statistics of 2023. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to have enough room on this side. Let's, let's move, let's move, let's move. Um, to put up the pictures. I was gonna do a whole other thing, but. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, so I have statistics both from Goodreads and from the story graph. Uh, I also have my own little reading journal thingy. And um, so in this one, I've done a little, um, I guess, some kind of spreadsheet, I don't know, um, of the number of books that I've read. I've also like written down all the actual books but that's not what we're here for right now um so yeah according to this i read 132 books um that is concurrent conclusive that it's the same number on the story graph however on goodreads i have for some reason read 134 books i don't know what these two missing books are but you know um <laughs> so 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 there's that i guess i mean i i suppose i guess there's like uh two books that's added on for some reason twice because i can't figure out which book is not supposed to be there so on my guess is uh one of the books i have actually read it's added on twice why i don't know but there we go there we go uh, I mean, technically, I did read some books twice, but I don't really count that. Anyway, um, so, according to Goodreads, I read 134 books. Um, this is a lie, at least if I check this, which I have manually <laughs> added on last time, and I've also counted them several times. Um, so, so yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, uh, 134 books. So according to Goodreads, I have then also read 55,721 pages. So if we divide that, 55721 divided by 134, because that's apparently it, I have read on average about 450 pages per book. I guess that's decent. I don't know. What is decent amount of pages for a book? I really don't know. It really depends on the book, doesn't it? Anyway, so there's that. Um, so other than that, Goodreads doesn't really tell us much, which is why I also went on the story graph. So unless I close down the page, which apparently I do. Anyway, so <laughs> if we go on the story graph, um, we get a bit of more statistics, we get graphs and stuff, which is a lot, it's, it's a lot, anyway, <sighs> yes, okay, um, so, story graph, on story graph, I have read 132 books, which is correct, according to my own physical calculations uh, and that also means apparently it's 56,101 pages so 56,101 divided by 132 is 425 ish on average per page page per book wow confusion anyway so I guess on average I read 400 page books I think that's about right. I'm not gonna lie. I do read some like chunky books, like the the big fantasy books, and they are quite chunky. And then I do tend to read like two, three hundred page books. So I guess that's I guess that's average. I don't know. Maths, math is not my thing. Okay. Anyway, so what the story graph does give us is a whole mood thing. So apparently, I've mostly been adventurous in my reading apparently 84 of the books i've read have been adventurous and um yeah probably i do tend to go want to have 
it's like action, isn't it? It's like action. Uh, 52 of the books have been emotional. Yeah, sounds about right. <laughs> I'm just trying to think of like how much have I cried. I cry a lot, okay? It just happens. It just happens. Um, so 39 of the books have been mysterious. Now, I feel like that should be more, but I guess it depends on what you count as mysterious. Is this just like mystery as in crime and mystery or like... I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, um, 35 of the books have been dark. All right then. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not too sure what all these moods are supposed to reflect. Um, but it's been like, yeah, I guess, I guess. Not a lot have been sad. Three books have been sad. One has been informative. I do wonder what book is informative. Can I click it? So, the yearbook by Holly Bourne is apparently informative. Well, there you go. I mean, I guess. I, I guess it depends on what kind of information you want. And, sure. Sure. Anyway, move on. Pace. Pacing of the books. So, for that, 11% have been slow. 30% have been fast and on average, on average, well not really, but the the highest amount is medium at 59%. Again, I'm not really sure um, how we're counting this, but if you want that statistic, there you go. There you go. So, page number. Now, this is the one I calculated myself during maths. During? Doing maths. Um, so, 11% have been uh, under 300 pages and 20% have been over 500 pages. Uh, so, the most... How do you say that? Is it... I, I want to say like on average, but that's not the right terminology. Now I'm pressing things I'm sh not supposed to be pressing. Um, so I mostly read books between between 300 and 499 pages apparently, because that's 69% mark. Ayo! <laughs> I cringe at myself. Uh, yeah, so there you go. My average page number books are around 300 to 499 pages. And I did, my math said 400 something, so I guess that's correct. I don't know. What do we think about? I can't scroll down. Why can't I scroll down? Ah, fuck's sake. Anyway. 100% of my reading has been fiction. Yeah, I didn't do any non-fiction reading this this year. This year? 2023. 20, 20, In 2023, I did no non-fiction reading. Now, this is an... Uh, this is quite typical of me. I'm not going to lie. I'm not the... I don't really tend to go towards non-fiction books on occasion I will pick up like a autobiography of something um something or other I just haven't been in the mood to read about someone else's real life or learn things apparently because that's non-fiction too I, I mean you learn things from fiction too don't you anyway moving on um, genres, what do we have here? <laughs> okay, surprise, surprise. Um, well, this won't fit on my screen. Anyway, um, genres. Are we surprised that it's mostly fantasy? And if we are, why are we? Um, 
kind of close second is young adult books. Uh, yeah, I do tend to read more young adult. Yeah, I do tend to read more young adult than adult books. I don't know. It just, I guess, because I'm not in to books to read all the smutty smutty smuts um and uh, that doesn't happen a lot in YA books so I guess so, but YA books is mostly just adventure fun a bit of like flirty flirty on the way but not like graphic sex scenes I don't need the graphic sex scenes, honestly. <sighs> Saying that though, close to a second is a uh, romance. Oh yeah. <laughs> and then we go down and it's contemporary, LGBTQIA+, that's so many letters. Anyway, um, dystopian, that must be the Shatter Me series. Yeah, pretty much. I'm gonna guess it's mostly just, can I press this? It's just the Shatter Me series. Uh, on this dystopian, oh no, no, okay. Um, so Dark Age by Pierce Brown is also on there. The rest is the Shatter Me series by Tahara Murphy. Um, Dark Age? Is dystopian? Yeah, okay. I don't know. Um, yeah, the rest of the stats are pretty like low compared to the top stats. Science fiction. I did think I'd read more science fiction than nine books, but okay. Anyway, moving on. Format. 100% print. Saying that though, I did listen to the audiobook of uh, Fourth Wing and then I Am Flame as well because for some reason I did Fourth Wing so I figure I might as well do Iron Wing as, no, I Am Flame as well. Uh, but I did read them physically and then <laughs> listen to the thing. I don't know why, I, I well Fourth Wing it was because uh, uh, a lot of pronunciations and stuff and what else there was something else oh yeah I, I wanted to do a like a speedy rerun a speedy re read through um, of said book because there was so much um, well there was so much to talk about all the cringe and I seem to miss all the cringe when reading the book um, possibly because I didn't really care and some of the cringe I did find quite funny so I guess I'm just cringe I mean that's true so okay yeah <sighs> mostly read authors Jenny Colgan no surprise I did go through like a very large backlog of her books um, this summer Mostly the summer, I think it was. Anyway, um, and she's written a lot of books, like a lot of books, and um, yeah, there we go. <laughs> um, next up is Tahara Murphy. Yes, it's all the Shatter Me books. Yay, yay, Holly Black. Oh yeah, because I read both. Well, I've read all the Holly Black books. I read. I have read was last year was 2023 I'm so confused because we'd like I'm I'm just in the middle of the year the middle of the year no middle I'm in between years right now okay it's very confusing anyway um yeah so I read the tithe series that's called something else I think and then the cruel prince also called something else and I read oh yeah elf fame and book of night that's so confusing anyway uh, page two. Yes, I did read a lot of her books. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I read uh, the Johnny Jefferson ones. That seems about right. Victoria Avery. Oh, yeah, I did. I reread all the, um, the Red Queen one. 
Oh, damn. How did I read six of Stephanie Garber's books? Oh, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> so I forgot that I read, I first read the Carol series and then I read the Once Upon a Broken Heart series. Um, and that makes six because there's three books in each series and there's two series and two times three makes six. <laughs> I hate maths. What else do we have on here? Languages. All books in this time period are in English. Well, I should hope so. I don't speak all the languages of the world, you know. <sighs> uh, number of books and pages. Now, I don't really know how to read this graph. Books read, pages read. It's just lines. It's just lines. I guess at some point I were on more pages read than books. I don't really know what this statistic, this graph is supposed to tell me. Books and pages. I, I mean, if I were uh, like looking up different years, this would make more sense to me. But because this is only for the one year, this just looks like lines. It just looks like lines. Anyway, I think that's like all the stats I can give because I don't really give star ratings because my ratings are here, there and everywhere, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, so, so going forward for uh, 2024, Numbers, yes. So many numbers. I don't like them. I'm gonna hate numbers by the end of this. Um, so um I did I did do a little thingy. So <laughs> my number thing for um 2024 um is goes up all the way to 173 can you see i don't know if it's blurry or not i don't know um i don't expect me to read 173 books um i'm not that insane i'm just mildly insane but not that insane yeah um but i did do more of the uh the goals one so read what i want when i want have fun reading and what else Minimize the number of unread books, finish more series. That makes sense. I mean, I do have, I don't know how many number of books of unread books I have. Wow, words. Um, but that is in a video, I think, coming after this one. I don't know. I'm very left, <laughs> I'm very behind on life right now, okay? And I'm getting all the messages. It's very annoying. Anyway, I don't expect myself to read 173 books. Um, I will be putting my like challenge, good reads challenge goal, I guess the story graph as well, on 50. Because uh, that's what I usually do. And that is very manageable for me. That's one book a week and taking two weeks off. Possibly three, depending on what kind of year it is. Because one year there was 53 weeks and I was very confused. So confused. Anyway, um, I guess that's all. Channel goals, do we do that? I mean, the only thing that I want to accomplish with this channel and my other channel for that matter is just to have fun, do videos whenever, have fun doing them, and you know, if I don't, then I don't do them, um, I guess. I'm not going to go on here and say, I'm going to have 10,000 followers by the end of the year. Because that's insanity. I mean, I would love people to hit that subscribe button. Uh, but I'm not going to force you. Because this is what you're getting. This is what you're getting. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, I've clearly lost my mind. Not unusual, but... I will uh, love you and leave you, so until next time, until they take your